I am Heather Threadgill, and I am founder and co-owner of Bear Culture Kombucha. I am Renetta, and I am a co-owner of Bear Culture with Heather. Bear Culture is a brewery of kombucha that uh, is in Coeur Lane, and we uh, started about two years ago commercially. Over the course of 10 years, I homebrewed and figured it out, and then it kind of took over our kitchen and area and uh, decided to do something more with it and then we started the brewery down on 4th Street in Midtown um, two years ago. Then we moved to a bigger location and I took on a partner and uh, we joined up with the Seelys, Renetta and her husband Rob and now we here. So the mission and vision of Bear Culture is really to provide a very healthy um, low calorie, low sugar, bubbly, effervescent um, product that people can enjoy. Something that will give them a lot of health benefits. Um, we also, part of our mission is also to keep a small footprint. We keg rather than bottle. People can purchase bottles and do refills. We try to source as much organic produce as we can. And um, when we can't get the, the organic, we try to use as much natural as we can. We are always looking for local farmers that we can purchase our ingredients from. We use uh, local ingredients like mint from uh, people right here in Coeur d'Alene. Kombucha is a cultured fermented tea um, that is made with, we make it with an oolong and an Assam black tea and using organic sugar. The health benefits of kombucha are it's really low in sugar, it's loaded with loads of probiotics. Um, the probiotics are great for your immune system, digestion, it puts your body back into the pH balance that it should be. A daily dose is good and uh, you can do away with a lot of the other vitamins and things that you take if you do this and it's, you know, we haven't killed off any of the um, good stuff by processing it in any way. It's totally natural. It's a living drink. So when you get it, it's, uh, it's just in its natural form. Brett Sagid, I am the master brewer here at Bear Culture Kombucha. So the first thing that we do is uh, we make the sweet tea, uh, which is the fuel for the kombucha. kombucha. And uh, this is a 300 gallon uh, tea kettle. Uh, so I can brew up to 300 gallons at a time. Uh, you know, first I'll add the water, heat it to uh, 190 degrees. We'll steep uh, the tea inside of it. And we use uh, a mixture of Assam black tea and oolong green tea. Um, as our sweet tea and uh, once the tea is uh, done steeping I'll add in some organic sugar and uh, mix it up and uh, at that time uh, once it is cooled uh, to uh, the correct temperature we'll then pump it into the fermentation room. Right, so once the kombucha is matured um, to the correct pH, le pH level and uh, to our taste uh, we pump it into these for, um, bright tanks which are 100 gallon tanks and in here we infuse our flavors and uh, once they're in, in the bright tank we'll roll them into our cooler which will sit there for a few days while they um, cool and um, there's a second fermentation process going on there um, before we pump them into our kegs. Yeah so this is our cooler um, where we store the, the keg kombucha and our bright tanks um, during our second fermentation process and it's really it's really cool and um, you know Heather has and uh, Renata have used uh, like reclaimed wood, barn wood doors, um, tin, and uh, uh, reclaimed barn wood. So um, after it's been in the cooler for a few days, um, you know we roll out in there. We, uh, we top it off with CO2 and uh, bring it back out here. Have this little setup is how we uh, keg um, our kombucha. So just we'll take our um, kegging setup here. Lock it into the keg, open the hoses, and the kombucha will flow into these kegs. We have been involved with the um, farmer's market now for two years. Um, we also have been involved with the Inland Northwest Food Network and have donated our product to them so that they can take that product and teach other people 
um, what's available to them as far as uh, fermented foods, things that they can do on their own or purchase locally.